Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trial and Simulations. Last time, we're, we're in the process we flamed, of... We er, flamed... Wow, we flamed. We flamed. <laughs> we flamed Detective At Me on the internet. <laughs> Let's continue. Well, I mean, we did do that. I, I was trying <laughs> to say... I was trying to say framed, and then I was like, wait, that's not right. Claimed. I should have said accused. We accused him. Okay, that works. <laughs> we accused him of being Master Mask, and now let's continue. The Tumi Unnatural Participant to the story. He said he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. He couldn't have then... been hiding. He was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and then his last case, he managed to outperform Detective Gumshoe, and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. Th that's because... Our analyst, the crime scene data, had made an exquisitely accurate deduction. I picked picked clues that I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a. No. Oh please, the explanation is far simpler than a detective at me. The truth is that you are in fact Master Mask. Er. <laughs> there goes his monocle. It's gone. <laughs> Mr. Eight, this photo it clearly shows Master Mask. Yeah, but who the hell is he? He's wearing a mask. Who knows? The security camera belongs to the Lordly Department, Lord, Lordly Department Store. Lordly Taylor Department Store. That one. He shouldn't be able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed as a thief and stole the urn. So, the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what is he? Whoa! <laughs> the Master Mast Immo is pure genius, and so am I, Luke Atten, the ace detective. You're very clever to come to such a conclusion. I'm impressed, your lawyer. What? Witness, you, you're you admitting it. Nick, now's your chance. Yes, time for the last nail on this guy's coffin. Detective Atten, when you assume the thief's Objection. identity. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Code Blinds number 102. My personal favorite. M Mr. Godo! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best selling novel. Oh. It's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But, Mr. Goto, Mr. Red has made some very strong points in the- I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing but more than a patchwork quilt. Mr. Trent. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it better be as hot, and as perfect as the copy dragged down your face. Well then, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see the size of proof you have. Quick! Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Of course. What's what's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? Nami looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. But can I really do it? The size of evidence that proves Mr. Luke at me is in fact Master Mask. Has yet to be found. Yeah, if we the we don't have the urn, missing. we yeah. don't have the urn. If he had the urn, then there you go. Fingerprint that that baby, and there you go. Yep. Proof of of course. I I I've got nothing. Ha! <laughs> huh, just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high, no matter how bad things get, after all. Uh, I see. But perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I gotta stay in the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But are you just going to give up and let us lose this? So you've come to your senses, have you, Sir Lawyer? I... Uh, 
Ugh, I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems like there's that. a uh, there's a pack of dogs in the courtroom. Ignore that. Cover. It seems that the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Gordo, if you have anything further to add, then. What? Ooh, who? Oh. Yay! It's Ladyface. Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Nicky boy. The thing you've been looking for. I think I've found it. Huh. <laughs> it's a designer purse. It's a designer purse. She was masked to mask all along. Open you it up. Nebby's inside. I mean, Nebby's <laughs> inside. I love Nebby. Nebby's awesome. No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well? Hmm. Oh. There's something off about that urn. Hmm. That's... It has chicken pox. <laughs> what? The secret urn. Nick, that's the urn. Are you, are you guys sure that's the urn? O order, order, order. You, madam, that urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective. Look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best. I don't think Ron knows what this means. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Jetme? You know you're going to have a hard time wheezing into this one. Ha! Huh. Pathetic. Mr. Goto, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly time changed. In the old days, a man would be taken his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved. Poor casting is aspersions? Aspersions at Detective Atme. Consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Yes, what about it? Huh. Oh, planted. How charming. Yeah. The links that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? There's a way for the criminal. You could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. So you found the urn. What does that prove? It only doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. Please, madam. This town is already filled the brim with lies. Any more can only compound the tragedy you've been wi you've been witness to. You're wrong! I would never! I would never do such a thing! Mr. Light. Please, Nicky boy, you've gotta hel help me talk some sense into these people! There must be some way. I've gotta prove that I was actually in the Batman Detective Agency. This is what I saw. I didn't see nothing. I saw the bag, that's it. Yeah. Fingerprint? Fingerprints? I can prove where the urn was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, huh? Oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it'd be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I'm always in the habit of wearing gloves, you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints would have been wouldn't have been evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? Mrs. Fingerprints would be nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. That means they brought the urn back to his office yesterday. There, I'm sure someone was have left their fingerprints on it. Oh. Mm. Oh. I see. The fence, the, the fence so, versus the fingerprints of this person. Should so be first on. off, if no one is yes. understanding what's going on, you need so, to watch the last so, the last episode a few episodes ago, actually. Yeah, a few episodes ago, not the last one. Um, so Miss Andrews said that she polished it to a shine, so it was clean. Anything that would have touched it. Um, 
like before the crime. Yeah, any anyone who touched it before the crime, their fingerprints would have been wiped off. There's only like possibly like two people who could have touched it. And that well, I guess technically three. Um I suppose three. Luke at me. This guy Ron and this guy. Phoenix maybe, because he maybe. said he stuck his hand in that bag and he said he felt something smooth. He felt it. Now, Luke at me just it. said... He wears gloves Luke all the time. Luke at me just said that he wears gloves. I'm and almost positive Ron wears gloves, too. I think he wears them as mask to mask. Yeah, I think he does as well. I think he but has he gloves can... in the, the Lucy photo. Yep, gloves. Yeah, so I think it would have to be Phoenix in that case. Phoenix. If you guys weren't following. It was Phoenix. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints, anyway? Mr. at me. Do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick. Come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. Well, what's in there? Uh, hang on a sec. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. Yeah. Yeah. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time. But I did touch what was inside. What? You you touched it. I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. <laughs> well, er, that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that. First earth. swallow. First dog swallow. Now smooth and hard. Come on, game. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. <clears throat> My fingerprints are on there. And it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. Well, even your fingerprints are on the urn. Doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? Not what I said. It's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibit, said. I paused it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. She paused it that much. She must have any and all fingerprints on it. The only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it was after that. It was yesterday. At the techni- at, at, <laughs> at the detect- at the- at- At me detective agency! Click the button. Yes. Click the button. Ha! Huh. This blend. Go to blend number 107. Decided. It's a little too bitter after all. Ooh. Order, order, order. I accept the fence's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait. Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. W what are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what, what is he Take doing a look, with his everyone. other hand? What is he doing with his other hand? Take a good look at what he is doing, everyone. His game is good. find a wife worthy of my genius. So I'm supposed to have a great one. Is made of sin. Here I am, <laughs> the tragic clown. This guy is nuttier than a fruitcake. You see, it's me after long. I am the one and only Master Mask. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little performance. <laughs> this game is sin. <clears throat> well, Mr. Godo, what is Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. Wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, looks like that matter has been settled. Came precariously close to mismirking the record of an innocent young man. Mismirching him with a title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Light really wasn't a thief. Oh, he doesn't seem that happy about it, though. No, he's not happy about it. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ronda Light. Who is it now? 
It's wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong, Atelier. Uh, um, I mean, I'm not exactly wrong so much, but not exactly right. That's what I was trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the sneaky, uh, uh, Ad Adilus. Ad yeah. Adilus. <laughs> Adilus thief has been stealing the treasures. It's me. I'm him. Oh, I'm he is wearing want. gloves. Yeah, yeah, he is wearing gloves. Yep. I'm the one you want. I'm the thief. I'll tell you. So do it. Pronounce me guilty, please. Mm -mm. I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you all think this is. But... <laughs> the true identity of the thief has been already proven. Hurry and pass the judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. Mr. Goto, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Huh. Hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, yes, sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you're a master mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Y yes, sir. I'll be happy to. <laughs> he says, he says he'll, be he'll be happy to, Nick. <laughs> he wants to do it. It's kind of cute. He is 100% committed to his fantasy. Good boy, just remember one thing. <laughs> At least it's a healthy one. Yes. Hey. Abu only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I won't fail, I swear. Okay then, talk. We're all listening. Oh well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Master Master Dumpy. The truth is, I've been master mask all along. I mean, you can't prove I'm not actually master mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night that earned me stolen after all. I donned in my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see it right there in the photo. That's me. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and got it torn off. That's all. Okay. <laughs> oh, mm hmm. I don't like the direction this trial is taken. But as the other child goes. At least with me, anyway. Huh. You're doing great. Hehe. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Godo. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only gonna get one chance to testify, alright? But you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise, too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prisons the one and one and the only true Master Mask. <gasps> Thanks so much, Mr. Godo. I I'll do my best. Yeah, I already see a flaw in there. Do you? Yeah. All right, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid it's time for cross-examination. <sighs> if we have to. So, that's not necessary to press on. That's not necessary. Okay, it's... I think it's this one in the oh, next statement. I, s I see what you, you're on to. Yeah, so what's the next one? The next one is... Oh, yeah, 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 this one. So I see what you're on we found, Yeah, we found evidence in his apartment. Oh, you um, mean this? What do you mean, this? Um, the key card. This one. I mean, the, the blackmail, but also the key card. Yeah, it's found in Ron's wallet, opens the KB security, and then check the wallet. The wallet. Oh, found yeah. in the KB security building around 1 a.m. Yep. Yes. Do the Let's wallet. Do the wallet. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah, yes, it does. I, I lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. <laughs> ah, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Er, uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime, but I know I still had it with when Desi and I went out for dinner. <laughs> this wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at the KV security headquarters. What? So you're not serious? Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Light was, in fact, at KV security that night. No! So the defendant was at KV security at 1 o'clock in the morning. That proves he is a watertight alibi. No. Furthermore, considering the distance between Molly Taylor and KB security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. 
If Valeri can be trusted, then yes. Well, Mr. Godo, do you have anything to say? And stop drinking that coffee. Let him do what he wants, it's fine. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Thief, don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the one that calls me Thief, Mr. Godo. Alright, I'll try. I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yep. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I even drop my wallet at KB Security? Zuna must have planted it there to make it look like I was there, not at the heist. Planted it there? He's really reaching now. A little bit. Mr. Delight. You probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The key card to KB Security's CEO office. No! Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trait. Unfortunately, you only looked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Where did this thief go to keep his security in the middle of the night? Now the blackmail. <laughs> now the blackmail. Hmm. You know. Uh, you know? Luke at me knew about that blackmail letter too. He did. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. He is an ace detective. But well, why would he know about a letter that was sent to Ron Delight? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. Weird. And on that weird note, next time we come back, we will uh, motive Ron, Ron, give Ron a motive that, <laughs> that way. Anyway, yeah, so Bye. see you next time.